Hey, 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 it's Chef Evelyn here and I am back with another video. And today I wanna talk about the steps that you need to take to start your cooking class business, okay? So I just kinda wanna get into it. I wanna keep this video short and sweet and I kinda wanna give you a little roadmap on how to start your business. So first and foremost is you need to figure out what exactly you want cooking classes to do for your business. Um, there's a lot of things that cooking classes can do. It can be an additional revenue stream. You can use it as marketing. You can use it to sell other products and services. There are, are several different uh, things that you can utilize cooking classes for in your current business, or it can be your main business, right? But getting really clear on what you want cooking classes to do for your business is really like the first step because knowing what you want cooking classes to do for your business will help you build out the business and the structure and then also help you choose what types of classes are going to be the best fit for that particular goal and for your current skill set and lifestyle and all that kind of stuff. Which brings me to the second thing that you need to do when it comes to starting a cooking class business is you need to determine what format of cooking classes that you want to teach, right? And that's going to depend on your goals, okay? And it's going to be like we did in the first step. And like there's so many different formats and there's so many different types of cooking classes that you can teach, right? And so like you've probably seen a myriad. And like some of the most popular are like kids cooking classes or like day night cooking classes, but there there are so many more things that you can do with that. Like as a matter of fact, there's six different formats of cooking classes that we're gonna go in detail about in the Build Your uh, Cooking Class Business Bootcamp. If you're curious about that, the link to all the details about that is in the description below. It's like, so you wanna pick the format, right? Which is like how you're going to deliver the cooking classes, okay? But then after you figure out what format, I mean like, you know, what, the, what way you want to deliver the cooking classes, then you need to pick the type of cooking class right you know is it going to be kids cooking classes is it going to be day night right and in in the boot camp I go through 20 different types of cooking classes that you can offer in your business and again like it, you know for me to tell you you should pick this one or this or that one like wouldn't be fair because it really depends on like what your expertise is in what you like to do what you like to teach what kind of menus you feel comfortable creating and again it goes back to those goals but so the first thing is to set the goals for your business. The second thing is to pick the format. The third thing is to pick the types of classes that you want to offer. Then after you go into that, you want to literally build your classes, right? So depending on kind of the formats and all that, you want to build your classes, right? With the menus, how the sh how you're going to run it, how it's going to be delivered, you know, the client experience, you want to build all those pieces in there, right? Obviously, you want to set your prices, you want to set your policies, right? You want to put your standard operating procedures in place, okay? You know, you want to make sure you have all of the things that need to go on your website, all the details about your classes. And then you also need to have a promotional plan. So no, I know that's a lot, right? That's like several steps in one, right? But it really is like you need to create the classes and know how to create the classes for, for different formats. So for example, you know, a kid's class is going to run very different than like a technique class. And then a technique class is going to might run very different than like a series or um, a series might run very differently than like a membership. Right. So you need to like draft that all out. And what is that going to look like? What are the pieces that need to go into each one, depending on the formats? versus the types of classes like i said you need to write those out you need to create it you need to create those classes the menus the run of show then you need to have your sops your pricing your policies um you need to have like your web presence you know and you got to figure out how you're going to take payment and then you also need to have a promotional plan and then once you have all of that in place, you need to learn like what it takes to have repeat clients, right? Because the easiest people to sell to are people that have purchased from you before. So you want to know like, well, what does it take to have a successful cooking class? You know, what does it take to get people to come back, right? Because it's like easier if they're in the class to get them to sign up for another class. That's the easiest thing. How do you do that, right? And then also you want to know like, well, how do you make your classes stand out? Okay, because, you know, it's like, well, I don't want to be doing what everybody else 
else is doing? Like, how do I make my classes unique? How do I make them stand out? You kind of need to know what, what your secret sauce is, if you will, when it comes to creating cooking classes. And so if you're like, yeah, OK, I, I got it. Like, those are the things that I need to do. And you want to go through those in detail, then I would invite you to join me for the build your cooking class business boot camp where we're going to be walking through all those things we're going to be working through setting up your goals right and establishing what those are i'm going to be sharing with you 22 ways you can use cooking classes in your business to help you determine your goals then we're going to get into here's the different type of formats um that are available to you right um and then we're going to get into here's the 20 different types of classes that you can offer and so you can pick the one or the ones that make sense for your goals and then we're going to go through that kind of more lengthy section that i talked about which is like okay you got to establish your classes you know what's the roadmap pricing you know all that kind of stuff right setting up your SOPs and then also understanding how do you stand out? What needs to happen? What needs to be in place? How do you get repeat clients? Right. Um, and basically, how do you have a successful cooking class business? And in addition to that, OK, I'm going to be sharing with you some case studies of my own cooking class adventures over the years. If you don't know anything about me, I started teaching cooking classes in 2009. I did my first online cooking course in 2010. Before there was an Instagram, no social media following, no uh, no audience, no nothing. And I made 500 bucks, right? So that's one of the case studies. I'm, uh, I've done online classes, in-person classes, corporate cooking classes, memberships, demos, like in-home classes. Like I've run cooking schools. So every version of cooking class that you can think of, I have I have done it. And I have enjoyed them all. Some, but I would say my least favorite form of cooking classes is kids. It's something about an eight-year-old with knives and flames that just makes me nervous, okay? <laughs> the kids are great. It's the knives and the flames with kids. You did 14 kids in a class that just... It, it does something to me, but I have clients who do cooking classes and they love that age range. So that's why I say it's not a one size fits all. What is good for one person is not necessarily the best fit for someone else. But then the second case study is I'm going to be sharing with you how I made a week's salary in one cooking class. So I'm going to be walking you through that. And with these case studies, each one of them is a different style of class, right? So to kind of give you some, you know, some different angles and some points that hopefully you can glean from. And then the last case study that I'm also going to be sharing as well as helping you map out your cooking class business is how I made 40, I mean, excuse me, <laughs> 40,000. I wish how I made $5,000 from a 45 minute cooking demo doing one recipe so listen if if you're intrigued if you're curious if you're just nosy okay or if you are inspired and you really want to map out your cooking class business then join me for the build your cooking class boot camp um it's coming up all the details are in the description box below if you're watching this video past the deadline no worries no worries um you can still get access to the course materials and you can find out if there's going to be another live session but all the details are in the description box of this video and yeah y'all listen i hope that you join me for the boot camp I can, i'm excited to hear about what you do you know how to you can incorporate cooking classes in your business if you're already doing cooking classes um you know I, I'm excited to hear about that and also any questions that you may have. So listen, I hope you found this video helpful. I hope to see you in the boot camp and I will see you in the next video. Peace.